Hi Advocate, I wanted to stop by and talk to you very quickly about tea towels. I've got two packs here from Audi, very modern designs, I love them. I just want to show you how easy it is to make a tote bag and to make a drawstring bag. No seam allowances to deal with because the towels are already hemmed. So let me show you how quick and easy it is to make these two style of bags. So to make your drawstring bag, fold your tea towel in half. And we're going to sew starting an inch from the top, two and a half centimetres down the side, pivot at the bottom and along the bottom, just on the edge of your turned edging of your tea towel. So I'm using a stitch that's two and a half, 2.8 long. Now I am going to make sure I back stitch at the top to give strength. Back the right side out. So I'm just turning over the top of the tea towel here, as you can see, and I'm going to stitch along again on this edge here just going to pin it Now this bit here, my sewing machine won't go over. Let's just do it like that. So it's pressed out. I will have to go slower here and make sure I've got a long stitch length for my machine to cope with that bulk. over the side seams here. Oh, and that's objective, so I'll just turn the hand by hand. Over this thicker there. Right, will you start now? You have your basic drawstring bag. I'm just going to pull my corners out a bit.
These might not come out perfectly because I've not trimmed them or anything because I don't want any more edges. So all there is left to do now is to thread a cord through the casing you've made at the top. Now if you are making this for hospitals, which I know some people are making bags for hospitals at the moment for uniforms and their bags going direct in the washing machine, you need to make sure you buy a pre-shrunk cord that will go in a wash of 60 degrees. This isn't, I haven't, I don't know what this is, but for purposes of demonstration I'm going to wrap this, thread this through a drawstring. I've got pre-shrunk cording on order. But as you can see, this is a super quick and easy method of making drawstring bags if you've got a pile of tea towels to hand. I've got cell tape on the end here, that's going to stop it unravelling hopefully. For now, and I'm just going to thread it through. This gap here you've got on your seam. All the way around. Right. So I've threaded my piping through. I'm just going to cut it off. And tie knot. There we go. One finished drawstring bag. Perfect for many uses, laundry, shoes, toys, you name it. Just simply to pull the cord and your bag gathers up. Just like that. Let me show you how to make a tea towel tote. This is so quick and easy. Get a tea towel, iron it, fold it in half, sew around the edges, add some webbing as handles. I am going to show you a bit of a more complicated version. We're going to have some pockets along the front. So that's a quick and easy, that's a five minute job for that bag. So, to add some pockets along the front, I need to cut this in half. Alright, and I'm going to zigzag these edges here just to neaten them. And I've got a second tea towel. So I've cut a second tea towel in half and I've laid it across my panel for the front of the bag. I've measured from the top to make sure I've got an even height here. So this is eight and three quarters or 22 centimetres. Eight and three quarter inches or 22 centimetres. So, just need to deal with these edges. So I'm going to zigzag my raw edges just to neaten them and um, the um, raw edge on the second side of the tote too.
So I've dealt with all my raw edges. So I'm going to make my front slip pocket. I'm going to divide it in half. So let me just measure that. 14. So that's 7 inches in half. I love using a quilter's ruler because you can just get your straight edges really easy. Right, there's my stitch line. I'm going to stitch that. I'm going to make sure I back stitch at the top here because that will be a potential weak point in the bag. Next step, handles. So I've cut some handles out of this other thing I've got from Wish. They are, how do I know? Just over 32 inches. So, fold in a little edge. Pin, so where's that going to go? Two inches down from the top, and I've got my seam allowance there. Two inches from the side. That looks a good position to me. So I'm going to use navy thread, and I'm going to stitch a rectangle with a um, cross in the middle diagonally to strengthen it. I'm going to use a long stitch, um, a needle that coats with thicker leather fabric, and I'm going to do that for both sides of the bag. So I've sewn my handles on, placed the fabric right sides together, and then I decided I would shorten the bag a little bit, so I cut a couple of inches off the bottom, used a quilter's ruler to measure out, mark with tennis chalk. So I'm going to sew all the way around and um, now I'm getting my new raw edges. So once you've stitched all round and you've um, finished your raw edges, if you've shortened your bag like I have, turn it right side out. I love this part, it's the moment of truth. How has the bag turned out? There you have it. Obviously you could do with a press. But one quick and easy tote bag from Tea Towels. There you have it, two styles of bags from Tea Towels. Super quick and easy. Tote bag probably took me half an hour to make with the um, additional pockets on the front and a drawstring bag which probably took me a quarter of an hour to make. So have fun, grab yourself some fun tea towels. As I say these were from Aldi a few weeks back now but I love the modern prints of them and they're great in that they're multi-directional prints which is very helpful when you're folding a tea towel in half to make bags.